Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel, this is Reiki HQ and today I'm gonna show you how to get a Bloodhound step. So the Bloodhound step is a must-have Ash of War which you can get very easily right from the beginning of a journey. This Ash of War will provide you with a quick dash which you can use to dodge your enemies attacks or to get right back at them after you avoided an attack. I will just enter with my fresh created character to show you how easy you can get this ability. So we are starting at the gate front where you get your horse then you just follow the road just like that till you reach the third church of america there is a portal that leads you right on this side of the map okay so now from here you'll just go down the road as you see on the map you'll get past this bridge there is a dragon here and you'll go on lane's rice and then you'll see the boss here but I want to show you that. Okay, so we're starting at the gate front and we just got our horse, so now we're going on our way. Don't forget to take all graces on the way here, it will help you after that. So just follow my path that I showed you on the map and you'll reach uh, the third church of America, which is very close to us. Okay, we get this grace too. And now we just go on the road and here is the church here you don't have to do much you'll just pick up the grace take those items around here you'll have two items here and now just follow exactly my path in order to reach the hidden portal right here which will lead you on the east side of the map Okay, so now that we are here, we're just gonna go inside this big building right here, big castle or whatever this is. Just open the gates. And now, when you enter inside, you'll see a grace right here. Just get it. You need it. It's a good respawn point if you get killed on the bridge by drake and now we're going outside just try to avoid this one and you can see the bridge in the upper right corner of our screen so we just got down here there's a grace here so we're gonna pick it up we're gonna hop on the horse and try to travel the bridge notice that you you might die here the drake might hit you and kill you he will un one shot you for sure but don't worry you can respawn and try again nothing stops you you have nothing to lose as you're a fresh spawn you almost have no runes it seems that we were lucky the drake uh, hasn't hit us just follow this path right here and you can see the a small tower right now this is the point where we want to get, but first let's get those runes here. Oh, I just drank a potion. I don't know why. Okay, just pick up all the runes right here. Let's head down. You don't want to take damage, you don't want to die, so... Just try to jump on this uh, wind tower or wind elevator or I don't know what this is. And now you just pick up the grace, so we can have a very close a spawn point if we fail, if we die, or if he just spawns back on the bridge, but he shouldn't. Okay, now I use the grace to turn uh, the time to uh, noon, so I can show you that the boss is not here, okay? So you can't kill the boss if it's day. It won't appear, so you need to use the grace and to make... Uh, to, to make uh, the time night and here we have the boss right here so we're trying to aggro him somehow so I just hit it I know you can just pass near him but I don't know I just hit it so now we're trying to run away there are some 
poison traps here, but it will give you a little damage and you, you have the potions if uh, you take too much damage. Just try to run away, keep him close. Notice that you might fail. He, he might just lose aggro and just respawn back. Okay, but this is not a problem. We just go back here and we just try again. Remember that you're low level, you're a first spawn and uh, any hit on you is a hard hit, so just try to avoid those goblins too. Yeah, we took him again. And we're trying the same thing, okay? We just need to, to not go too far away from him. He has some nice speed, so he shouldn't stay too far. Okay, now we turn left here. And you see? He just despawned. I got killed, but it doesn't matter. We still got the item and we got the Ash of War and 42k runes. Okay, guys, that was the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video and found this helpful, don't forget to leave a like and a subscribe. That will help me a lot. And, well, see you in the next video.